Greetings, welcome to this brief tutorial on how to incorporate 3D models um, from SketchUp's uh, 3D warehouse into Smart Notebook. And uh, we're going to utilize the document camera along with that. Uh, you don't have to, but it's uh, certainly a, a way to do that. And then uh, towards the end of the tutorial, I'll show you a brief um, utilization that you could do for projects or whatnot. Um, at just about any level. So, uh, getting right into it, we're going to go into Safari, and I'm going to go to Google's uh, 3D warehouse uh, or SketchUp's 3D warehouse. I think uh, SketchUp broke away from Google, or they uh, became private. And anyway, in SketchUp, uh, SketchUp's a program that you can download. Um, I think we've got it packaged up and can put it in self-service. Um, so on the Mac side, if you go to self-service, uh, in fact, I don't have it on this machine, but uh, you'd be able to find that in there. And so SketchUp's a program that um, lets you create 3D models, and uh, it's an extremely powerful software, and it's free. There is a paid version, but uh, with all uh, further ado, we're going to continue on. So let's say I look up... Um, uh, let's see, uh, 747. Okay, so I find a 747 jet. And what I want to do is I want to download this. And uh, a couple things, you can you can click on it. You can uh, click on the SketchUp file. I click on Downloads, SketchUp model. KMZ, this is for Google Earth. Um, if you have Google Earth and you want to import... Uh, like structures, uh, like uh, Crazy Horse Monument, or mm -hmm. or uh, even Mount Rushmore Monument. So, so I've got that downloaded into my downloads folder, and so you can see I've got several SketchUp files that I've already downloaded here. I'm gonna open that up, double tap on that, and it should open up in SketchUp. And from here, I don't have to know a whole lot about anything about SketchUp. Other than, um, you know, if I wanted to see what this looks like, look at that, fancy. That is a 747 border hopper. Look at that. Craziness. And so, uh, you can view the top of the plane. Uh, you can use this hand here to pan over. And so, um, all right, so I want to export this into something that I can use in Smart Notebook. And so I'm going to go to File, Export, and 3D Model. I want to save this as a Collada file, .dae. And I'm going to save this to my desktop. I'm going to call this 747. I didn't like the name that it currently had. And I'm going to hit Export. And so I hit Export. And boom, it's done. I can close SketchUp. And I'll minimize this for now my beautiful darlings there and see let's go into smart notebook there we go and here's a here's a heart actually and uh, here's a blank page in smart notebook and so I've got notebook opened up I go to insert and I click on 3d object I locate where I saved it and here's 747 I hit open, and from here, I can certainly resize this. And if I want to see a 3D view without using um, the document camera and the augmented reality or the mixed reality cube that comes with it, I just click on this middle part, and here I can rotate this around. And so, if I want to talk about you know 747s or planes or whatever. Um, I, I can certainly use this. So here I can, look at that. Isn't that cool? So, yeah, very neat. Um, the neatest thing is if I click on the smart document camera, I'm going to hold the augmented reality cube underneath the camera. And as I do that, it picks up my object and lets me virtually fly it around and so very cool
and if I move the cube out of the vision, it just stops it in place. And I can continue to rotate it using the computer controls, the mouse. Let's close that. Let's insert a, another 3D object. Let's say it's a scene from, let's say, a book, or a, even it's not from the, like the, let's say you're reading a book and it's about a cabin in the woods. And I drag this open, make it larger. If I take my reality cube, augmented reality cube, and I hold this underneath, turn on my document camera, here I can take a look at my scene with the use of the cube. And so it definitely takes some getting used to, and it doesn't work always the best for some things. But uh, let's close that out and insert one more thing. Let's insert a 3D object of a heart. And this is one that I downloaded from uh, the SketchUp library here. And let's make it a little bit larger. Put it in the center. And turn on my document camera. Insert my cube. It picks it up right away and it moves in relationship to my cube. So you can see the ventricles, the aorta, pretty much a whole 3D view of the heart. So very cool. If you'd like some more assistance with this or more information, feel free to email me at any time. Uh, and if you have any personal assistance uh, needed in the classroom to run this, let me know, and I'd be more than happy to uh, stop by and show you. So that concludes this lesson from now on, and uh, thanks for watching.